Andy wants to have kids as soon as possible. Andy says that his appearance really changed after high school. Please welcome Matt Williams. How did things change after high school, Matt? Oh, I finally grew. I oh, was, you, you were short? Yeah, I was five foot two, weighed 95 pounds. Really? Yeah. All through high school? All through high school. And then you had a growing spurt when? In your first year of college? or? No, I went, I'm in the military until I got about 22. I just grew within four years. And oh, I'm 6'1 now. Good night. Weighed That's amazing. Yeah. So I know it was like being short. Yeah. <laughs> and and you didn't like that? Uh-uh. No, no way. No, no. I'm just glad to finally grow. What's this rush to have? You said you want to have children immediately. Well, not immediately. I mean, real soon. I mean, I've been my Tom Cat and days are over. It's time to go out and meet a lady and uh, start Settle having down. a family. Or, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I'm the last one yeah. hitting the family. So, uh, you also said you don't you you buy something for women better than flowers. What is that? Garter belts and lingerie. <laughs> right. Now you you have to know someone. Oh yeah, for a while. Don't you do don't it on just the do first it on the first date. date. Right. A lady would come yeah, and scope me out on that. Yeah. <laughs> going to take a look at the women that Matt had to choose from. Remember, you're going to pick the woman that you think's best for him. First, there's Susan. Susan describes herself as liberated uh, with brains. She dates about twice a week. She has a thing for men with big feet. <laughs> and she told us about a recent date. <laughs> I don't smoke, and I, you know, I don't really care, and don't really date guys that smoke. And he knew that from the friend that set us up, and he said that he didn't smoke. And then I went to his apartment, and there on his nightstand in his bedroom was an ashtray filled with uh, cigarette butts. And that was it. Okay. Next, there's Mercedes. She was born in Indianapolis, raised in Seattle. She thinks that uh, she's more beautiful on the inside than on the outside. She was married for seven years. She's been divorced for five years. Uh, but she's still wearing her wedding ring, and here's why. Sometimes I need it. It rescues me. <laughs> I can just say, uh, when a guy asks me, comes up and he's, you know, and he's the type of guy that I really am not interested in or I don't like, I really don't like his disposition or his attitude, I just say, I'm sorry, I'm engaged and I'm happy. That takes care of the problem usually. Finally, Lana, she was born and raised in Nashville. She thinks that she resembles Olivia Newton John. Her interests include sporting events, the theater, and movie trivia. And here's Lana on the subject of marriage. I always tell my mom, I'm not never marrying until I'm 25. You know, I wait till I'm at least 25. And she's, you know, now she's like, honey, you're way past 25. Please do something. You know, it's like, well, I figure when it happens, it'll happen. You know, one day I'll meet someone and it'll be right. All right. Those are the three women Matt had to choose from. It's time for you to match him up. Who are you going to pick for him? going to tell us who he selected. I chose Susan. All right. Haven't seen each other since her date. We always hear both sides. Say hello to Susan Hunter. Hi, Susan. Make yourself at home back there, okay? Thank you. All right. Tell me about the date, Matt. Oh, well, I called Susan up. We spoke on the phone for about an hour, and um, we decided to meet and at meet at a restaurant in Newport Beach on the waterfront and have dinner. Okay. And um, I arrived 10 minutes early before, and she arrived five minutes early before that. And she walked in, and I thought, oh, man, she's got an awesome set of legs on her. I'll tell you what, yeah. She had told me she had long legs, and boy, she hit that one right on the nail right there. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think of him when you saw him, Susan? He looked pretty good himself. He, I was very pleased with the way he looked. Good. After my eyes adjusted to the light, I could finally see him. It was very dark walking in there from the sunlight, but he looked really good. Good. Okay, so you're both happy with your, each other's looks. Now what happened? Uh, we're, we sat in the cocktail lounge until our table was ready and had a, a glass of wine. And I was just looking at her legs, just going, man, I'd sure like to rub those legs. <laughs> they were just right there, right in front of you. Just... You're both tweaking the carburetors and moving along. Uh, so now what happened? Well, well uh, we were going to go out dancing. and I said, we we're getting along so well. I said, well, why don't you just go get a bottle of wine and go down to the beach for a while and go, you know, go from there. So we went down to my house a little across the street from the beach. and. Uh, Popped open the bottle of wine and so go to the beach said, didn't necessarily get a blanket and go to the beach. You meant to well, go to we your went house by to the house to get the blanket to go down to the oh, beach with some glasses I too. See. I didn't buy the glasses oh. in the store either, but uh -huh. um, walked in there. I said I, I got to have a kiss, so we kissed. Went real well. It was real nice. Oh. Kissing real well. Yeah. Now, is this one kiss here, Susan, or what's uh, going on? No, not quite. You know, it, it went on for maybe 10, 15 minutes, and <laughs> so I you're actually making out there in the oh, living room. Oh, definitely. <laughs> 
I got ready for the, the beach by just taking my high heels and stockings out and putting some low sandals on. And then that's when he told me he wanted to lick my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, excuse me, may I lick your legs? Oh, she smiled, it didn't, she smiled, it didn't offend her. I'm a gentleman when I go out. Oh, I, I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> so, so now did you go to the beach? Uh, well, we sat on my couch for a while and kissed some more. I'm gonna that guess that you never went to the beach. Oh, we sure did. You did, you oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Well, you bet. All right. We did make it down to the beach, and uh, we were probably down there a good hour and a half or so. Uh -huh. And uh, did a lot of kissing, looked at the waves a little bit, not the whole bunch, but more kissing than anything. And, yeah. And um, just went back up to my house, uh -huh. and uh, it, we just it, it ended real nice. I walked her out. To, at first, I asked her, "I go, well, you uh, you want to spend the night?" She lives a whole three miles from me. I figured it'd be a long drive. Three, three miles. miles. <laughs> so you're I was I was I was just trying to be sure. nice about it, and she she declined. <laughs> and um, but now, no. In your heart of hearts, were you glad she declined? Yes, because I was. I'm really I was real pleased with the way she was. She's a very strong woman, and I like that. Mm -hmm. She's really. She had no problem getting a guy's face if he tried to defeat that. Uh, yeah. Tell me, good day for both of you. Yeah, Say hello to see the audience quick for you. Oh, they picked that southern accent. I knew they would. 55%. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can, I can understand why. Her little, the little bite in there was kind of cute and everything. But anyway, if you want to go out with Lana, we'll pay. If not, no, you're I'm on your own. No, I'm with Susan. Yeah, I figured you would. Yeah. Yeah, come on out, Susan. Come on. Come on, Susan. Again, have a seat. Yeah, I was gonna go through the ritual, and I thought, now nah, you guys spend enough time in his apartment no, kissing. Sorry, I don't guess nice we need to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for sharing your date. Let us know how you're doing, okay? Okay. All right, gonna come right back with another couple right after this.